as an added bonus, wink wink, I was like, ooh, I like that bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll use that. <laughs> yeah, you tell those pigeons. <laughs> Bear with. Hello, I have a charity shop haul for you today. Most of it is to resell, but as per usual, I've thrifted lots of things that I really love, so I could very easily look after them all for a little bit or just enjoy them for a while before I find a new home for them. So grab a cup of tea and let's get into it. So I'll make a start with these. If you know me well and you've watched me before you'll know I love Jersey pottery. So I found these, they were only 75p each and we've got the sort of bulbous style flower frog posy vase and then a longer sort of more boat shape, flatter version. And I've got two of those. And they were all 75p each, which is an absolute bargain. So slightly different. You've got the leaf pattern, which matches the rounder one. And then you've got a different leaf pattern, slightly bolder design on that one. things have happened in our lives recently and one of them you've just heard that's our new dog Jeff <laughs> he um yeah he got very excited because there was a pigeon in the garden today he's chased a cat out of the garden he gets very excited every time he sees the pigeons or the blackbirds so he may be interrupting us again I tried to get him settled in his bed he wanted to sit on my knee and he was nicely asleep. <laughs> and the other thing is we've decorated, as you can see. We have brand new wallpaper. Don't just have a plain white wall anymore. And we've swapped out the Kath Kidston <laughs> floral boxes. So we've got just plain blue now. Uh, we did have the plain blue on the other side of the room in a different unit but we've now decided to just have two units here. And yeah, so we're going for a blue theme in this room now. I won't show you the rest because we're still decorating, so it's just chaos behind you. <laughs> but this bit looks lovely. And you can see the West German vase that we picked up at a jumble trail a couple of years ago now, I think. Not last year, the year before, um, which we really, really love. And it goes perfectly with this decor, so. Yeah, so back to the Jersey Pottery. <laughs> so I've got two of the longer, shorter, posy vases, flower frogs, um, and one of the other ones. They were all 75p each. If I was to sell them individually, they'd be about six to eight pounds resale value, which is not a huge amount. Jersey Pottery isn't necessarily hugely valuable. I buy it because I love it. So I always know that if I can't sell it, I'm just going to enjoy it anyway. Um, and to be honest, I could, I could see this easily on our shelves. Um, so I might enjoy this for a while anyway. But if I was to sell it, six to eight pounds each. But if I was to bundle them all together and sell them as a set, I could probably get about 25 pounds plus postage on eBay. Um, I normally do free postage, which really means postage included, on Etsy. So I'd probably put them up for about £30 on Etsy. So I'm leaning towards doing that. But then I'm not sure if people would prefer to buy them singularly and buy them as replacements or buy them just as a, a singular piece for a collection. 
So I'm leaning towards the set. I think I'm gonna do the set for 25 to 30. Would you do the same, do you think? Or if you were buying, do you think you would prefer to buy the set or to buy them as individual pieces? So the jewelry's out on that one. I've got to think about that a bit more. So I'll go to this piece next because this is also Jersey pottery, but it's very different. It's a stoneware vase. I don't see many stoneware Jersey pottery vases around. Normally you see the hand painted vases um, which have the handwritten Jersey pottery marks on the bottom, but this one has got a cork base to it and has the Jersey pottery printed. Now Nick picked this up for me when he was out one day and he wasn't sure either. And we both looked at it and we thought that because it had this cork base to it with a printed Jersey pottery mark, we assumed that it would be more modern. But actually having done some research, it turns out it is dated 1970s. So I'm really happy with that and I really love it. Love the design on that. Stunning. So if I was to resell that, I'd probably put that on for about $16.99 plus post. Another thing that Nick picked up for me when he was out and about is this pretty ugly mug. Um, not sure if you can see the stamp there, if it will focus. Um, it's pretty ugly pottery, which is made in Wales. And each piece is handmade, so every piece they make is individual. You'll never find one exactly the same. I've sold one of these before for £15, so that's where I'm going to pitch this one as well. And something else that I've sold in the past is one of these Sadler custard jugs, I think they call them. They're quite hefty in size and they are very collectible, but at the same time, they're quite common as well. Um, so that is the mark on the bottom. And they come in all kinds of different designs and colors. I love them. They're all the same shape. They all look the same, but different designs, etc. It's right up my street. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I honestly, I could collect them myself. I could envisage having a kitchen with a shelf and a selection of Sadler jugs along the shelf. I love that idea. So in the future, that might be something that I'll do. This particular design I really love. It's absolutely stunning. Very 1970s. And I paid two pounds for that. So as I said, I've sold one before, sold it for 15 pounds. So that's where I'm gonna pitch this one at as well. Something I always pick up when I see them are clear glass candlesticks. I paid three pounds for these. And I've sold a similar pair before for about 25 pounds. So yeah, they're always worth picking up for me anyway. They always sell well for me. They're very art deco in their design. And they're pressed glass. They're not crystal or anything like that. So nothing particularly special, but they are quite on trend in terms of home decor at the moment. So I was pleased to have found those. And then the next thing I picked up for a pound is a Port Merion, Port Myrian mug. And this is the Amable or Amable rose design. And I should be able to sell that for about 10 pounds plus post. I had another Port Myrian mug in a similar shape, but different design and I sold that for eight pounds. But the Amable, not sure how you pronounce that, um, this particular design is quite sought after. So I should be able to pitch a little bit higher at about 10 pounds on that one. These are gorgeous. Absolutely love these. In fact, is there anything that I've got that I don't love? <laughs> Answer no. Um, these are Mexican pottery bowls, two different designs. And the back um, says made in Mexico, 
but I'm not too sure. I think, having researched, I think it's Flo Ponche, Flo, something like that at the top. I think that's P O N C E. That's the only thing that comes up on Google. This is def this definitely says made in Mexico. They're Talavera style, but not Talavera. Stunning colours, hand painted, but Mexican pottery is very sought after. So I should be able to get £30 for the pair on these, which I'm thrilled about. I can't remember how much I paid for them. I think it might have been about £4. Yeah, that does ring a bell. I was taking a chance. I did know that Mexican pottery was sought after, but I wasn't sure on a value for it. Um, I didn't look it up when I was in there. I just thought, I'm gonna grab them. I love them anyway. I'll use them if I can't resell them. Um, so I went for it. And yeah, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I knew it wasn't Talavera and I thought, you know, that could mean that they're not actually worth anything. Um, because it's probably just Talavera that people are collecting. Um, but no, it turns out that Talavera style, any kind of hand painted, made in Mexico, pottery, um, sells really well. So I'm very pleased that I went for that and took a chance on them. So when I bought those Mexican bowls, she wrapped the first one up in newspaper and then she ran out, she didn't have any more newspaper left. So she said, oh, I'll wrap it in a bag for you. And as an added bonus, wink, wink, this was the bag that she wrapped it in. And it's never been used. Brand new, Oliver bonus, bonus, canvas bag. So yeah. I was pleased with that. I was like, oh, I like that bag. Yeah, I'll, I'll use that. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's not to resell. I'm gonna keep that for myself. That'll be really handy next time I go charity shopping. We recently went on a trip to Ramsgate. We went away for the weekend. And of course we did a little bit of charity shopping while we were there. And I found these pillowcases. So there's two of these. And a flat sheet with this gorgeous ditzy floral print on it. And I'll show you the label on the pillowcase because it'd be easier to get to. <laughs> she says, struggling to find it. Here it is. St. Michael. This label was used during the 70s and early 80s. So looking at the design, I'd say it's probably more early 80s, that sort of country floral. You know, that was really popular in the 80s, wasn't it? So I'm, I'm leaning towards dating it to the early 80s. Could be late 70s. But absolutely stunning. The flat sheet, the flat sheet was four pounds, and the pair of pillowcases. A few moments later, and the pair of pillowcases were one pound fifty. Just dropping it on the dog. <laughs> So £5.50 for the set, and I will sell it as a set, and should be able to get 25 to £30 for the sheet and the two pillowcases, which I'm thrilled about. Okay, on to another thing that Nick picked up for me. I picked up three identical trays that look like this. They're clover leaf. Melamine, again I date them 1970s, does seem to be my favourite era for picking up vintage. 
he texted me a, a photo and he said, shall I pick these up? And I was like, yes, yes, please. Yes, get those. <laughs> Anything brown and orange and I'm, I'm there. Um, yeah, so three identical ones of those. They were three pounds each. I should be able to sell them for 12 99 each. So I think with these, because they're identical, I'm going to do them individually um, and not as a set of three. That seems to make more sense to me. What do you think? Do you agree? I'm not sure why somebody would want three of the same design tray. Most people only want one tray at a time, don't they? So I'm gonna go with that, I think. Of course, if they do stick around for a while and they don't shift, I might rethink that strategy. Okay, last but not least, I bought something for myself. I bought a pair of shoes. The shoes I'm wearing at the moment, they're very similar, they're black boots, but they zip up instead of lacing up. And I picked them up for a pound at a boot sale. They're only Primark, but a pound, absolute bargain. I picked them up, they were nearly new, I'd say, when I got them. I've pretty much worn them out now. Um, they're letting water in. So I've been on the hunt for something else, secondhand, that I loved and that I could replace my leaky boots with. And these were perfect. They're H&M, they're divided, and they weren't as cheap as my last pair, unfortunately. I paid 15 pounds on those. But as you can see from looking at the sole, they've hardly been worn. So compared to the price I'd have paid for them new, I still think that's a bargain, and I've donated 15 pounds to the British Red Cross, so more than happy with that. I tried them on in the shop. They were quite comfortable, so I just need to break them in a little bit because as I say, they've hardly been worn, so they do need a little bit of wearing in. So I'll wear them around the house for a little while so I don't get blisters when I'm out and about. Um, but yeah, I'm thrilled that I found a pair. It's very rare, isn't it, that you find exactly what you want in your size. So when you do, it's a no brainer. You've just got to get them, haven't you? And I love them. So that's it. That's everything that I've bought in charity shops in the last couple of weeks. We're trying not to bring too much into the house because we're actually full on decluttering. We're trying to get the house ready so that we can put it on the market. Um, so we don't want, don't want too much new stock, but at the same time, we love a charity shop. We love picking up a bargain. It's very hard to leave stuff behind when you know it's really lovely and you can find a good home for it and enjoy it in the meantime. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. That's me trying to justify my thrifting addiction. Um, so I don't know when the next charity shop or thrift hall will be um, but we are going away for the weekend in a week's time so no doubt there'll be some charity shopping while we're away watch this space anyway thank you so much for watching if you've got to the end well done and I appreciate you very much for that I hope that you've enjoyed watching let me know what your favorite item was um, other than the boots for myself Hmm, I love it all. I think probably my favourite would be the stoneware vase. Because it's Jersey pottery and it's stoneware. Win-win. So I will see you again in another video very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. So this is Jeff. Yes, hello Jeff. This is our new little dog. He's eight years old and we've rehomed him. And he's settled in very well. He's definitely a part of the Hills family now. <laughs>